when Jimmy transferred to my high school last year, I was a little disappointed because his mom wouldn't let him come over. She was afraid of my dad's guns. I told Bill that he needed to respect Mrs. Anderson's opinion. So uh, later on at one of the kids' baseball games, I was able to talk uh, to her and, to and invite him over as a family to talk it through. I wanted to emphasize to her firearm safety and education. And I wanted to have a chance to go over the steps I take uh, to keep my family and guests safe in my house. So the next weekend, Jimmy and his mom came over, and I took them down to the basement where we keep the gun safe. My dad talked to them about the importance of gun safety. And that's why I wanted Bill to learn about gun safety when he was young. Well, that makes sense. And I thank you, Hank and Bill. Um, to be honest, I am still not crazy about guns. However, I feel Jimmy would be very safe here. Thank you. There are many different types of firearms out there, and each is specific in design, ammunition, and function. To properly handle your gun, you should be familiar with its design and functions. This information is provided in the manual and should be thoroughly covered at the time of sale. Let's take a look at how to unload a few types of firearms. We've given our gun handlers snap caps, pieces of plastic shaped like cartridges, to ensure their safety as they demonstrate. Well, this is a pretty common style bolt action rifle. It has an internal magazine that must be emptied of cartridges in addition to clearing the chamber. Now on this particular model, to, uh, to clear the magazine, simply open the floor plate and catch the cartridges as they fall out. And to clear the chamber, simply rotate the bolt handle up and pull back. Now as you can see, the cartridge is ejected simply by pulling back on the bolt. It's essential to visually check the chamber and the magazine to ensure that they're empty before closing up this rifle and safely putting it away. Go ahead, Bill. Uh, shotguns with break open action like this double barreled over under model open pretty simply. You hold it firmly in both hands making sure to keep it at a safe direction then press this lever with your thumb. You push down on the barrel now after you fire the gun the shotgun shells would pop out but since you haven't fired yet you can just pull them out with your fingers. Here's a pretty typical revolver design. To unload it, push the cylinder release forward and swing the cylinder out to the side. Tip the gun up and the unfired cartridges will usually just fall out. If not, push the ejector rod and that'll push the casings out. Now to unload the semi-automatic pistol, first thing you want to do, push the magazine release right here behind the trigger, remove the magazine from the gun. Next, you want to pull the slide back firmly and take that last cartridge out of the chamber. Now it's very important to do this in the correct order Otherwise, you're going to end up with a cartridge in the chamber of what you thought was an unloaded gun. Remember that all firearms are different. You should never pick up or attempt to unload a gun that you are not familiar with. Find someone who is and let them handle it. The best way you can stay safe is to educate your family. Now that we've covered the basics of firearms and safety, let's review what we've learned. Always treat a gun as if it is loaded. Never point a gun at anything you do not want to destroy. Keep your finger off of the trigger until you're ready to fire. Always have a full and unobstructed view of your target and whatever is beyond. Firearms should be stored in safes or be secured by a device such as a cable lock, trigger lock, or security jacket. Ammunition should always be stored in a locked box or case, preferably in a separate room. Share your knowledge of firearm safety with others. Never drink alcohol or use drugs before or while shooting. Get your gun safety education from a certified instructor. It is recommended and even required for most individuals to take a hunter's safety course in order to qualify for a hunting license. Keep in mind that there are multiple styles of firearms that function differently and that each requires ammunition specific to its design always consult the manual or a qualified expert. Now let's check back in with Jackie and see how she handles her situation. Hey guys, doing okay? Mm -hmm. 
What did you do with the gun, Aunt Jackie? Well, I unloaded it and locked it up in a safe place till Grandma gets home. Can we play with it now that you took the bullets out, please? No, Chris. A gun is not a toy. You should never play with a gun. But how did you know how to unload it? Well, last year I took a course on gun safety. Learning to stay safe is very important. Stay safe. Educate yourself and your family. It's easy to do when you use your resources. Watch videos, read books, and talk to the experts. The more you know, the safer you and your family can be. For more information, contact the National Rifle Association or the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Stay Safe is a series of educational programs designed to provide accident prevention knowledge for your family. We encourage you to check our website for other Stay Safe programs at www.staysafe.tv.